The new Inatec 3D technology from ASK Chemicals is an inorganic binder system designed for the binder jetting 3D printing process and enables a tool-free production of inorganic sand cores for light metal casting applications. In addition, functionally integrated sand cores can complement the production portfolio of conventional core manufacturing processes. The innovative process offers the foundry industry an economical solution for the fast and flexible production of prototypes and component series. In the binder jetting process for inorganic sand core production, a dry molding material composition consisting of silica sand and a solid additive is applied in layers and the core geometry is produced by selective printing of the liquid binder. The recoating system and the print head are in close vicinity and are moved horizontally over the building platform via movable axis systems. The printing information required is transferred from a digital draft file. When applying in layers known as recoating, the molding material composition is discharged from a container through a gap of a specific size depending on the flowability of the molding material composition. The amount of molding material composition resulting on the building platform is shifted and compacted by the functional edge of the recoder blade in the form of a wave by a horizontal movement. The liquid binder is then applied via print module nozzles from the print head. The building platform is lowered by a movement of the Z-axis by the layer thickness of the layer-by-layer -layer application of the molding material composition and the process sequence is repeated until the CAD data model is completed. After the core geometry has been built up, the printed areas are thermally cured in the supporting sand. Microwave technologies are usually applied. The cured areas are freed from unbound molding material composition and the finished sand core is obtained. The Inorganic Binder System InnoTec 3D is a two-component system. Component 1, a modified alkali silicate solution, is the liquid InnoTec 3D binder that is applied to the building platform via printing module nozzles. Component 2 is the InnoTec Promoter, a solid mixture of natural and synthetic raw materials. The requirements for the liquid binder are diverse. The printhead compatibility describes the material compatibility of water-based alkaline silicate solutions with printhead components as well as the application properties of the binder on the printhead module. The physical properties of the liquid binder, for example viscosity and surface tension, are temperature dependent and play a decisive role in the phases of droplet formation during application. The printhead compatibility is therefore a central performance and quality criterion. Drying out phenomena of the binder on the printhead leads to nozzle failure and affects the productivity of the process as well as the quality of the sand cores. At the same time, central sand core properties such as strength and dimensional accuracy during core production are influenced by the liquid binder. The resistance of the sand cores towards mechanical and thermal influences of the casting application is described as thermal stability and can be controlled via the formulation and amount of liquid binder added. The product concept of thermal stability is patented by ASK Chemicals for additive and conventional core manufacturing processes and has a decisive influence on the quality of cast components. The Inatec Promoter influences the flowability and pourability of the molding material composition during the recoating process and thus changes the resulting sand core density in the building platform along with other influencing factors. Due to the particulate structure and particle size distribution of the Inotech Promoter, cavities between the individual sand grains of the building platform can be filled so that sand cores of high dimensional accuracy are created. In addition, reactive components of the Inotech promoter can combine with the liquid binder via surface reactions so that initial or green strength results during the printing process and the final strength of the sand core is influenced. The actual application of the liquid binder is executed via piezo inkjet printing modules which are combined in blocks to form the print head. A printing module contains a piezo element, a vibration plate, and a fluid chamber from which the liquid binder is applied to the building platform via the opening of the printing module nozzle. 
piezo printheads represent the state of the art for binder jetting processes to produce sand cores and work according to the principle of intermittent droplet generation, the so called drop on demand principle. Signal bound individual drops are generated via many individual capillary nozzles. In the tension-free state, for example, in the resting phase, the binder remains in the fluid chamber of the printing module due to capillary forces and a slight negative pressure. If a voltage is applied to the piezo element, it reacts with a deformation. In the starting position, the piezo element is in a relaxation state and the volume of the fluid chamber is increased. The application of an opposing polarity then generates a contraction of the piezo element and a sudden reduction in volume of the fluid chamber results. The pressure wave generated in this way presses a droplet out of the printing nozzle at high speed, which is several meters per second. The subsequent application of an opposing polarity voltage causes an increase in volume in the fluid channel, which leads to the defined tear-off of the drop and rapid subsequent flow of the binder into the fluid chamber. The cycle of such a droplet generation takes less than 60 microseconds. The voltage and pulse width applied to the piezo element have an influence on the type and size of the droplet formation, depending on the viscosity of the liquid binder. In addition, the distance between individual droplets can be adjusted via the resolution, and the concentration of the liquid binder can be controlled. The application of the liquid binder follows the phases of idealized droplet formation. The application of a piezoelectric voltage first causes the formation of a constriction and the formation of a meniscus. This constriction is elongated and takes the form of a thread, at the end of which an almost spherical drop is attached. The constriction tapers further at the contact point. If the constriction is unstable, the drop will detach from the thread depending on the viscosity of the binder. The recombination of thread and drop creates an ideally spherical drop of liquid. The physical parameters of the liquid binder, for example viscosity and surface tension, have a particular influence on the type of droplet formation. A possible incorrect application of the binder input is described by the formation of satellite droplets, which result from a lack of recombination of main droplets and constriction during droplet formation. This results in drops of different sizes and thus an inconsistent amount of binder on the building platform. The lack of individual droplets or the formation of tails when the droplet is constricted are also potential incorrect applications when introducing binders. Further incorrect applications are described by uncontrolled wetting of the binder on the printing module, which makes drop formation impossible. A crooked flight of drops leads to a loss of core dimensional accuracy in production. It is therefore necessary to adjust the parameter setting on the printing module, for example, voltage, pulse width, and resolution to the physical parameters of the binder, for example, viscosity and surface tension. At the same time, the constant temperature at the printing nozzle is extremely important for a high level of process control since the physical parameters of the liquid binder represent temperature-dependent parameters. The dimensional accuracy, also known as conformity to the drawing, of cast parts essentially depends on the dimensional accuracy of the inorganic sand cores after core production as the starting point before the casting application and is determined by the properties of the sand core towards thermal and mechanical influencing variables in the casting application. The dimensional accuracy of the sand cores during production is a critical success factor in additive processes due to the lack of external contours such as the molding box or core tool. Physical effects must be overcome to ensure high dimensional accuracy. The migration of the liquid binder into the unprinted supporting sand due to capillary and gravitational forces or shrinkage effects that occur due to the evaporation of the binder's solvents in the printing process are only examples. These physical effects are partially counteracted by editing the CAD data model. Tolerance deviations of plus or minus 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters compared to the CAD data model must be achieved for large-scale applications. For comparison, 
The mean grain size of the quartz sand used here is 0.14 to 0.15 millimeters. The dimensional accuracy in the casting application is determined by the thermal stability of the sand core and describes the resistance towards mechanical and thermal influences of the casting application. With the Innotech 3D binder system, the thermal stability is specifically set via the type and amount of liquid binder added. In this way, deformations in the casting can be avoided and drawing conformity for the cast product to be maintained. The softening temperature can be determined, for example, in a heating microscope at an ambient temperature of 850 degrees centigrade. The higher the softening temperature, the higher the thermal stability of the sand core in the casting process and the lower the susceptibility to deformation. The sample on the left has only a low thermal stability and softens at temperatures below 730 degrees centigrade. In comparison, the sample on the right is characterized by high thermal stability and is stable over a wide temperature range outside the casting temperature of aluminum casting alloys. The basic value chain of inorganic binder systems as an emission-free technology is also retained for the binder jetting process. The increase in productivity and increased mold availability in the casting application due to reduced cleaning and maintenance work is also retained through the change in the core production process. The actual product benefit of the Innotech 3D binder system supplements the overall value chain of inorganic binder systems for conventional core production processes by the technological criterion of functional integration and the economic criterion of reduced development costs in prototype production.